So today we're going to be going over five fragrances to attract women without saying a word. Now if you were to go up to most people and ask them how they would consider approaching this, a lot of people would say to make sure you're dressed on point, make sure your hair is looking nice, make sure your facial hair is kept cleaned up if you have it. If you don't, make sure you're well shaven and well groomed. And while a lot of those are great answers, one thing that most people overlook is fragrance. For me, this is one of the key things that you can use and leverage to your advantage in order to get people's attention without even having to say anything. Today we're going to be going over five fragrances which are warm, sexy, inviting, alluring, and fragrances that women just really can't get enough of. And trust me when I say when you walk past a group of girls wearing these fragrances, they're instantly going to be hooked and wondering what you're wearing. And a lot of times it may result to a compliment and there you go, you have a conversation that is started all based off of the fragrance that you're wearing and you didn't even have to do any work. So hey, that sounds pretty cool to me. If you're interested, make sure you stay tuned. I will provide links to all the fragrances that we talk about today down below in the video description. So if you want to check any of these out or pick any of these up, you can hit those links down there and grab them at a nice discount. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump right into this one. First fragrance up, we have La Nuit de Lome Le Parfum. There are a lot of La Nuit de Lome flankers out there at this point and they still keep coming. I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. And of course it all spawned from the very successful La Nuit de Lome Eau de Toilette. Of course, we now have an Eau de Parfum and we have all these different versions. Le Parfum is one of my favorites and this one is quite overlooked in my opinion. You get some fruits, you get pepper, you get vanilla, you get lavender. Those are a few of the main notes in this one. So that lavender does come through like the original, but a little bit of a vanilla comes in to give it a warmth. Uh, the pepper gives it a bit of a spicy kick and you get this nice uh, sweet fruitiness up top as well making a very mass appealing, very sexy, slightly playful, but at the same time kind of mysterious and alluring edge to the fragrance as well. I mean, looking at the bottle, it does look really nice, all sleek and modern looking, and the fragrance itself is killer. Again, one of the better flankers from the line, in my opinion, this stuff right here is to die for. It smells so good, it's got solid performance for what it is, and this one will get you some serious compliments. This one's gonna do all the heavy lifting. All you have to do is spray it on, and you're gonna be set to go. People are gonna be complimenting you. People are gonna be wondering what you're wearing because most people haven't smelled this one. La Nuit de Lome, the original, it's pretty popular. Some of the flankers like this one, not so much. Great option here. Up next, we have Boss the Scent Absolute. So this one has ginger, manica fruit, and vetiver as a few of the notes, a few of the prominent notes. That's actually the only notes that they give you. Of course, there is going to be more, but uh, for some reason here, uh, Hugo Boss has been doing that with their fragrances here recently where they're just giving you the notes that they want you to pick up on basically. Like for example, from the newest fragrance I just reviewed of theirs, Hugo Boss Pure Accord. Um, they listed three notes, but I picked up on many more than that. And so don't be fooled, there is more than three in this one, you can pick up on it as well. You know, that ginger gives a spiciness, the manica fruit gives a little bit of a fruity sweetness. Vetiver is there in the base, but for me I get a little bit of a powderiness, perhaps maybe a tonka bean in here. Um, a little bit more of a sweetness that is not coming through just from the notes that are listed. So there is more going on than what it may look like on the surface, but this right here is so good. It's kind of sweet, it's kind of warm, it's fruity, it's spicy, it's sexy. This is a really well done designer fragrance. We're only focusing on designers here in this video, so it is gonna be affordable for you. And again, these all can be found at discounters, link down below. This smells nothing like any of the other designers out there. Of course, there's a few others in the line which use the Manica fruit and it may allude to those, but this line has really gone out of the way to create some good fragrances that are affordable, you know, under $50, I believe somewhere in the $40 range that just smell different. They're gonna set you apart from the crowd. They're gonna have people wondering what you're wearing. Head turners for sure, moderate performance for what it is. Really, really well done stuff here. If you haven't tried this one out yet, definitely do. It's one of my favorite flankers. Again, that is Hugo Boss the scent, absolute. Following along, we have Guerlain Lome IDL Extreme. Another fantastic flanker. This one has plum, tobacco, and almond. There's a few of the prominent notes in this one. That really gives it a nice twist, a nice change. If you guys are aware of the original and the Eau de Parfum of Guerlain Lome IDL, they have almond as one of the primary notes. So it's a bit of a slightly bitter, creamy, nutty almond accord that you get 
primarily throughout the entirety of the fragrance. Um, something like the Eau de Parfum uh, introduces a little bit of cherry into the mix as well, giving a little bit of a fruity touch, nice counterbalance. It's a really, really great fragrance. And Absolute and Extreme comes in, brings you that fruity plum and this nice, warm, spicy, somewhat subdued and mild tobacco note. So it's not an ultra strong tobacco fragrance for anyone that may not be the biggest fan of it. It's pretty subdued, it's pretty tame, but it does add just enough depth and just enough of a difference to this fragrance that really makes it stand out. This one here is my favorite flanker, my favorite release from the line so far. I even like this better than the Eau de Parfum. I think they knocked it out of the park with this one. This is a stunner. The second I smelled this one, I knew it was something special. I knew it was something different. And don't get me wrong, I still really enjoy the Eau de Parfum, but I find myself reaching for this one and lusting after this one so much more. There's something so magical about that combination of notes. I love tobacco and fragrances. I like plum when it's used, not all that often, but every now and then we do get a nice plum fragrance. And the almond, the almond is really good, adding that nice different twist to the scent. Just a work of art, great, great fragrance here. Just the coloring of this one alone from the cap to the label to the actual fragrance itself. I mean, it just sets it off. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Not that expensive either. Great Guerlain quality, great performance, and one that will absolutely turn heads left and right. Guerlain Loam IDL Extreme. So up next, we do have a fragrance that I will admit I'm not in love with. So this is not one that I reach for all the time and that I just sit down and smell and just fall in love with. This is not one of those fragrances, but it's not about me. It's not about what I love and what I really enjoy. Although a lot of the fragrances in here I do really enjoy and I do really love to wear. Um, some aren't gonna be the case, but they do work really well. For the topic of the video, which is just being mass appealing, turning heads, kind of getting those wow reactions just from you know wearing a fragrance that is different and just kind of is not your typical freshy that smells clean, something that is a bit different, has a different twist on it that really makes people scratch their head and they're trying to figure out what you're wearing because it doesn't smell like what they've smelled before, which is a bunch of Nautica fragrances, usually is how it goes. This one is from Dolce & Gabbana. This one is the One Eau de Parfum Intense. So I have featured this one on the channel. I've done a review. This one has cashmere in, it's got leather, and it also has a little bit of cardamom in here up top um, as a nice cardamom spice. So it's a little bit spicy, very smooth, musky from the cashmere in and there's a little bit of that leather just giving it a little bit of a masculine undertone like you would expect from the one which is of course a very masculine fragrance very modern as well this is even more of a modern take on dolce and gabbana the one that cashmere note really gives it that modern twist that is one of the more popular notes right now that are kind of trending uh, in a way i almost was thinking it was going to be the next ambroxan because a bunch of fragrances were popping up using cashmere and, and uh, other similar aroma chemicals like that and this one here uses it very heavily i'm not the biggest fan of that note and because of that i'm not super in love with this fragrance however my girlfriend loves the fragrance and you will find in general if you just go look at reviews and everything like that and just what other people have to say this one works really well just out there getting compliments getting that mass appeal going on that's what this one does best that's why Dolce & Gabbana released it that's why they went after this DNA it's just a fragrance that works it works really well it does the job great and it's one that without fail is going to get you compliments also this one is a bit more on the inexpensive side on discounters you'll find this one popping up for pretty cheap even though it is still relatively new within the past couple of years you can get this one for a really good steal honestly not a bad pickup if you are into that compliments sort of thing again for me it's not the most exciting one out there but it still works really well Dolce & Gabbana the one Eau de Parfum Intense last fragrance up we have one from Armani this one is Aqua de Joe Profondo so this one has orange C notes and mineral notes it has a few of the prominent notes and accords in here uh, there is all like an aqua zone or something like that, some sort of note I've never really heard of. Just really lending to the aquatic overall feel that this one has. So this one is very interesting for me. And like I just said a second ago, mineral notes being one of the prominent uh, smells that you get from this one, that's really what sets this one off because it really does have this kind of mineral water, minerals, rocks sort of smell. You know, in a way I can almost describe it as 
you're on the ocean, you have some of these big, beautiful rock formations sitting right there, and the water from the ocean is coming up, kind of hitting the rocks. You get that saltiness from the seawater. Um, you get the kind of mineral smell from the rocks. That's what this one kind of smells like. There's a little bit of a creamy orange in here, giving it that nice fruity citrus opening. Uh, it just is an aquatic fragrance, but done in a different way. And leave it to Alberto Marias to create something like this. We have have so many aquatics, we've smelled so many different aquatics, and it can get boring. But when you come out with something like this, something that truly is different, and when I first smelled this one, I did not quite know how to react. That's when I knew right off the bat that, hey, this is something different. This is something that's interesting. Not only is it interesting to someone who is somewhat of a fragrance collector, but it will also be interesting to the people around you. It smells quite a bit different than the original Aqua de Joe, in my opinion. It smells completely different than Aqua de Joe Profumo. It really kind of fits in its own little sector there in all of the flankers that is currently in the line, which is quite a few. I would say this and Profumo, by far the best uh, releases from the line. This one is really, really awesome. So vibrant, so uplifting, has that kind of photorealistic minerals type of smell, that saltiness in here. This one is perfect for summertime, great compliment getter, great performer as well. One that will definitely turn heads. That is Aqua de Joe Profondo to finish this video. So guys, that was gonna do it for me. That was five fragrances to capture the attention of anyone around you without having to say a single word. These fragrances are gonna do all the work for you. They're gonna do all the heavy lifting. You just have to go out there, spray these on. Of course, make sure you take care of yourself as well. Make sure you're looking presentable and the rest is gonna be handled by these fragrances. They're gonna have people intrigued and wondering what you're wearing. And you're gonna get some compliments along the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.